It's definitely got a rotation to it, doesn't it? Everything just got destroyed. This is a pretty large agave, and if you've ever seen these things, they are pretty darn tough. Hey there guys. Today's video is gonna be a bit of a change of pace from the normal project-based videos. During the past week, we had a pretty bad hail storm with golf ball and bigger size hail. So I had quite a bit of damage on a lot of the projects that you guys have been following over the past couple of years. The greenhouse, my shop, the playhouse, um, the camp trailer, unfortunately. So today I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around, show you some of that damage, maybe talk about what I'm hoping to do to repair it. And uh, I don't know, whatever else comes to my mind. So I think we'll start out with the playhouse. All right, first up's gonna be the playhouse. This sustained some of the least amount of damage out of all of my outbuildings. It was built with one of these scrap sections from my shipping container shop build. So obviously the bones are pretty strong. Most all of it is welded steel. And it really didn't suffer any damage other than the roof and losing two of the window screens. I'll show you some of the roof clips right now. There were some punctures or perforations from the hail and uh, just some general um, tearing up of the roofing material. The front door is a polycarbonate material and the side light is a polycarbonate material and they both held up very well. Everything else with the playhouse is pretty good. So other than the screens and maybe doing some roofing repairs, I don't really anticipate doing too much to this. Next up is the shop. Just like the playhouse, it's also made out of a shipping container, so there's not a whole lot of damage to the core structure. The awning held up fine, but there is a bit of damage to the fascia boards, the flashing, and there are quite a few perforations in the roofing material, both on the awning side as well as the shop side. Unfortunately, that caused a little bit of a leak in the far end of the shop where I had originally cut the container, welded on the new frame, and added two new doors. I don't think I did a good enough job sealing between that frame and the original roof, so somewhere along the way water got in, worked its way above some of my insulation, and damaged probably the far third of the roofing ceiling, and I'll show you a few clips of that now. I don't think it'll be too hard of a fix, uh, but definitely I will need to replace all of the roofing on this. I do want to point out that I do think this Ondura roofing is really a good roofing, but it is just a matter of the size of the hail. Um, some of my neighbors around here with shingle, tile, and built-up style roofs also had perforations in their roofing material, so I think it was just too big of an event for almost any type of roofing material.
Another project that I did in the past that was also exposed to the same hailstorm is this chicken coop I built for my in-laws. It uses the same Ondura roofing that I used on my shop and the playhouse, but it has a bit steeper of a pitch for the roof and it actually held up really, really well and virtually has no damage. I'll show you just a couple little spots where it broke through just a little bit, but for the most part, it held up really awesome. As for damages to my main house, fortunately nothing severe. We didn't lose any windows. We have a few areas where the stucco was uh, dented or cracked by the hail, uh, but no leaks or anything like that. The roof held up pretty darn well. Um, when we had installed this roof, it was some of the thicker gauge roofing that you could buy. Uh, so it's probably definitely a little overkill, but um, there are small little dimples um, on the north and western sides, which is the direction where the hail was kind of coming from. Um, but no leaks or anything like that. So I don't know if, if any of that damage will be covered by insurance or anything. You know, I'm not sure what they could do. But uh, overall, it's uh, holding up pretty well. Now for the greenhouse. This was probably one of the more devastating impacts of the hail. Since the sunken greenhouse is a project that I worked a long time to complete and have probably not used nearly as much as I wanted to. The week that the hail struck, uh, we were actually getting ready to plant this out. Uh, we usually plant it in October, the last couple of years. And uh, I was really hoping to have a good season with it. But as you can see from the clips that I'll show from the day of the hail, it sustained a very significant <laughs> uh, destruction and is going to be uh, need to be completely repaneled. Uh, now, again, as in the case with the shop, um, I don't really fault the panels this much. I've seen this greenhouse take up to marble size hail and it held up just fine. It's polycarbonate roofing, it hasn't discolored or anything, and I've been very happy with it. And uh, <laughs> as far as the repairs, I will probably re-roof this also with polycarbonate. But I think when you get up to that golf ball size and bigger hail, I really don't care what roofing material uh, that you're going to use on a greenhouse. Um, pretty much everything is going to sustain some sort of devastating damage, you know, unless you're uh, making a greenhouse out of skyscraper, half inch thick glass panels. <laughs> but in that case, um, you know, then it's a really, really expensive greenhouse. Um, as for other areas of damage nearby me, my neighbors just to the east, they lost um, windshields and side windows in three vehicles. So if that tells you uh, anything about the amount of force that the hail was coming down with, um, I don't really fault uh, the roofing too much. And like I said, the repairs, I'll probably put the exact same stuff on uh, because I've been very happy with it. Moving on to the chicken coop, this did not sustain too terrible of damage as it was kind of protected by these two trees that overhang the coop. Uh, the metal roof has dents all over and I'll try to get a better angle to show you those. Uh, but overall, everything's holding strong. I'm very surprised that solar panel did not break. Um, but really not too much in the way of repairs that are needed immediately. But the one big piece of damage that happened was when the hail started building up. You might be able to see right there, um, it tore down all of this bird netting that we had strung up over these top poles. And I'll show you a picture now, but there was probably about 50 to 60 pounds of ice that was just hanging in two spots in there. And there's tears all throughout that, so I'll probably have to replace that. And I might go ahead and uh, replace it with like a chicken wire or something like that. And last but not least of the structures that were damaged was the travel trailer. Uh, this one was probably the hardest one for me to stomach since I sat in my garage and basically watched it get pelted with hail and there was not a thing I could do about it. I'm sure some people will ask why I still had it out by the garage instead of where it is right now, which is underneath my back porch. Well, I didn't have the hitch on it at the time and I wasn't expecting hail. 
and it is a bit of a difficult uh, predicament to get it in this back porch area since it's a very tight fit and I have to move it by hand. And by the time everything started hitting, there was just nothing I could do to get it out of the way in time. But on a positive note, no leaks developed during the storm and by some miracle none of these windows were broken out, which really baffles me because a lot of the people around here lost not only windshields in their cars but also windows in their homes. So I do feel very fortunate that somehow these things held strong. As for the repairs, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but it will be probably to the order of replacing the panels on this side and maybe the panels on the roof or layering a new set of panels. <laughs> to basically cover up the damages but you know what it is what it is and uh, we'll go through and it definitely could have been worse now not all of the damage was structural on the property almost every plant we have whether it's in the garden or just landscaping plants or just the trees around here sustained quite a bit of damage all of the trees around here look as if it's probably late January or February because they lost probably 80% of their leaves. My fruit trees also lost probably approximately 70 to 80% of their leaves just a week ago. They were fully leafed out. The peach trees were starting to get a few little yellow leaves that they normally do in the later fall. But other than that, they looked uh, pretty healthy. The fruit trees down by the rainwater garden have zero leaves left so I'm hoping those aren't too damaged from the hail but I didn't see any big splits and then these agaves were probably uh, one of the biggest shocks because if you have any experience with agaves they're made of a very fibrous network of material and they are extremely hardy and the hail just destroyed <laughs> a lot of these paddles you can see it just split them put holes in them and uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if they're going to recover or if I'm just going to have to take them out and start with new ones. But you know, if I do take them out, maybe I'll try my hand at uh, making tequila. Okay, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I'm not sure how interesting it was, but it was something I wanted to cover since this is a pretty out of the ordinary event for us. We do see hail from time to time here, but it's usually like uh, pea to small marble in size and has never caused anything like the damage that this storm caused. But it is not lost on me that we are pretty fortunate in this uh, instance. This is all relatively minor and is pretty much fixable in the big scope of things and there are people in other parts of the world and our country that is uh, that are dealing with wildfires and floods and hurricanes and tornadoes. Uh, things that are way more than this. So. I do count my blessings every day and I, this is definitely not a uh, oh poor me <laughs> look at uh, what I've sustained uh, kind of thing but more of a, hey this happened it might affect future projects uh, who knows you may, uh, might see some uh, hail damage repair videos <laughs> I don't know um, but hopefully we will get uh, everything fixed and recovered as soon as possible as always I thank you guys for watching the next video is definitely going to be the bed platform for the travel trailer project and that as we speak is almost completely finished but I've just been having to deal with a lot of other stuff uh, insurance wise and things like that so as always uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this check me out on Instagram and uh, we will see you next time <laughs>